welcome to my tiny couch. JK, that's not what this video is about. Welcome to my dress up series. What the dress up series is, is me picking a show, movie, or video game, book, whatever it is that you guys recommend or suggest or what I come up with. And what I'll end up doing is analyzing that show or movie, whatever it is, and then coming up with outfits that match the style. And in today's episode, we have Wes Anderson movies. Starting with the grand foot of his hotel, the color palette in this movie strongly gravitates towards pastel colors, especially contrasting pinks and blues. For my first outfit, I paired this blue dress with some pearl accessories to bring out the elegant and bougie elements that most of the characters portray in the movie. While I could have chosen the easier route to dress like Agatha, I don't think most of her looks really portray the rich color palette that you can see throughout the movie. Also, fun fact, this dress has pockets! It has pockets, can you believe that? We need more dresses with pockets. As for the second look, I paired my matching peach colored top and pants with a pink blazer to add a more business-like look to the otherwise casual outfit. Instead of matching the outfits of any specific character, I once again aimed to match the general aesthetic upheld in the movie. The entire hotel is covered in different shades of elegant pinks, so what better outfit than one that represents the entire aesthetic? You could pull off this look in the classic purples and reds as well if you don't own any pastel colors. I recommend to always keep your jewelry on the bigger side with simple pastel outfits like these so that any accessories stand out as their own pieces. This movie has a color palette of mostly varying shades of browns and reds. Unfortunately, I am not a big fan of stripes unlike Margaret Tenenbaum, so I chose to focus on the shape and length of her dresses instead. Margaret always manages to look bougie yet simple and ordinary. For most of her outfits, comfort is key, which is why I picked a dress that is very comfortable and easy to style. Of course, if you have striped dresses, you'll be able to pull off her looks much better. Part your hair off center and pin to one side and put your hair behind your ears. For a more classic striped outfit, I had to find the only polo shirt I own. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, while I was filming this, my cat Paws started cuddling me on my lap and it is very rare. So I embraced the new situation and um, so commenced a very long 10 minute cuddle. And let me tell you, he did not want to leave my lap at all. He almost fell asleep a few times, and I wish I could have just let him sleep there. Ah, <sighs> what true kitty behavior. Anyways, mini skirts and shorts paired with striped polo shirts are another solid look for Margaret that you can see her wearing throughout the movie. If you want to go for something more neutral and easier to style, you can also opt out for Richie's blazer sets. Because matching blazer sets can be expensive and it's a hot summer, I want to keep my shirt casual and switch the dress pants to a skirt. I think just like Richie, you can play with the casual fits underneath the blazer and add in a headband or a hat if you'd like. Think of it as smart casual, but wacky. The Life Aquatic has a very distinct color palette divided between reds and blues and the occasional browns contrasting colors that people usually would consider clashing look really cool actually like this. I might experiment with this more in the future. Since the characters are all about the ocean life, I thought it seemed fitting to wear something loose and relaxing for a change. I don't have any ocean themed clothing though, so I decided to stick with my NASA hat and my golfing jacket. You can of course synchronize your looks to be fully red or fully blue, but I thought it would be more fun to mix them like in the movie. Well, what about summer dresses? I decided to have a matching color combo for this red dress since I already own red heels and a red scrunchie. I also experimented with mixing shades of the same color to see how a crop top and a skirt would look with the same heels. And of course, um, <laughs> wine is red and, you know, red is part of the color theme here, so of course I had to include that um, for um, strictly filming purposes. The, the wine's gone now, so uh, moving along. Rushmore has a much darker color palette than the other Wes Anderson movies so far. It focuses more on mature colors, just like it is mostly surrounded by academia aesthetic fashion due to the school setting the movie takes place in. 
I decided to work on two alternative looks based on the main character's outfits. Since it is summer, I wanted to be able to wear something comfy and flowy that wouldn't suffocate me but will also remain in the academia aesthetic realm. Also, if you haven't already watched my guide on academia aesthetics, I will leave a link to the video in the description below. So I opted for this v-neck black velvet dress inspired by the green velvet suit that Max is wearing. You can also ditch the beret and wear a blazer on top if you're in colder weather. For this next outfit, I took inspiration from Max's school outfit, but I changed up the color palette a bit. I think you'll be fine as long as you follow the basic guidelines of the movie as well as the academia aesthetics. And last but not least, Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise Kingdom's color palette reminds me a lot of Easter <laughs> for some reason. Maybe it's the yellows, I don't know. I didn't have a similar dress or coat to Susie's, so I had to improvise quite a bit. To stay in the same theme, I chose a pretty girly dress and a cardigan to match. Susie's overall style throughout the movie is quite preppy, so if you have any collared pastel dresses, you're good to go. If this is too much, you can ditch the cardigan and you can also switch up the style a little bit. I wish I had more dresses in this style because it's really simple yet elegant. Also, look at my gorgeous cat. His name is Paws. Hey! And he can jump very well. If you have something in mind that I haven't already made a video on in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.